Great. Okay. What we're doing today is we're showing how to do the separation of a solution. Now, a solution, you can't take a pair of tweezers and pull the pieces out. Okay, you can do that with sand. If you have a mixture of sand and dirt and rock, you know, you can pull little pieces out. But a solution, the only way that you can do a solution is to boil it and let the water come off, which is what you're seeing in the air right here. Is this liquid or gas? Gas. The stuff you see? Liquid. Liquid. Oh, vapor. Not vapor. Vapor, you, you can't see. This this is this is actually steam. it's like it, no steam you can't see. It's liquid. This is liquid. But what form? Liquid. <laughs> L I Q U I D. Liquid. Okay. So this stuff is coming off just like a cloud. It, this is the same thing as a cloud. Cloud is liquid water in the air. And of course it will come down sooner or later. But well, not always. It's, Many times. Now, what we see here, the boiling, the water's coming off of this solution, up through the tube, back down into here, and this is a condenser. You want to come over here and look at it from the side and get in nice and close. That's it. And we can see little curly cues in there. That's the connection between this opening and this opening. Now, there's also a nice big sleeve here that goes around that curly cue. And we can put water in that sleeve, which I'm going to do. I have it all hooked up here. This hose is going to the faucet. And as soon as I turn the water on, it will cool this down. And condensation is going to start further up, which means that the steam is going to stop coming and the dripping is going to stop. So that will, of course, change as soon as we get enough con condensation in the further up area. Here we go. See that going up? And now, what happened? The steam is gone, and the dripping has stopped. Now, if you come in over here, you'll be able to see the water is just kind of moving its way around through the curly cube, or through the, the spiral section here. And when it gets full up here, we'll start to see water dripping here, but we won't see water going up into the air. And so by doing this, we have done a separation. The water should come out clear. And if it doesn't come out clear, you'd have to distill it a second or a third time until you get as, as pure as you want it to be. If you've ever been to the store, you may have noticed that water sometimes comes in triple distilled. You know, they have these gallon jugs, triple distilled. That's pretty good because you're starting out stuff the water they start out with, you can already see clearly through, and they triple distill that, which means it takes one trip through here, and then they have a second device just like this, and it takes another trip through that, evaporating, condensing, dripping down, and then they take it through a third one. Boy, by the time you're done with that, you're 99.9% .9 water, and there's hardly any impurity. And that's how we separate the solute, which in this case was the phenol red from the lab, from the water. Thank you.